بسم الله والحمد لله صلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تمسك بسنته بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد أخوان سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم Glory belongs to you يا الله Verily we have no knowledge except for mother except for that which you have taught us and verily you ya Allah you are the all knower and the all wise you are the all knower and the all wise Allahumma inna na'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa' wa min qalbin la yakhsha' wa min nafsin la tashba' wa min du'a wa min du'a'in la yusma' verily Allah we seek refuge with you from knowledge there is no benefit and from a heart that has no fear and from a soul that has no satisfaction nor contentment and from a dua that goes unanswered and from a dua that goes unanswered so proceed ikhwan fa yaqulu al-imam al-allama al-imam al-hafidh Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala So the great Imam Al Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah Al Faqih Al Muhaddith Al Alama Abu Al Abbas Ahmed Ibn Abdul Halim Al Harrani The great Imam Ibn Taymiyyah He continues May Allah have mercy upon him Qala fal awwaluna Yakhrujuna ila al waswasati المذمومة في كثرة صب الماء وتنجيس ما ليس بنجس. So he says, as for the first group, they go towards those dispraiseful whispers from a shaitan. And with regards to them, while they're making wudu and the ghusl and the likes, they pour a lot of water upon their body. He says also. They go on to deem what is najas, those things that are not najas. وَاجْتِنَابِ مَا لَيَشْرَعُوا اجتنابا. And they avoid those things that the legislation does not require to avoid. مَعَ اجْتِمَالِ قُلُوبِهِمْ عَلَىٰ أَنْوَاعٍ مِنَ الْحَسَدِ وَالْكِبْرِ وَالْغِلِّ لِإِخْوَانِهِمْ He says, while they, and this encompasses with regards to the various types of jealousy and arrogance and hatred that they have within their hearts towards their brothers, towards their brothers. وَفِي ذَلِكَ مُشَابَهَةٌ بَيِّنَةٌ لِلْيَهُودِ And in this, ya ikhwan, is a clear resemblance, a clear uh, imitation of the Jews. وَنَعُوذِ بِاللَّهِ وَالْآخَرُونَ يَخْرُجُونَ إِلَى الْغَفَلِتِ الْمَذْمُومَةِ While the other group, he says, they go towards that dispraiseful heedlessness and neglect, that distasteful and dispraise heedlessness and neglect. He says, فَيُبَالِغُونَ فِي سَلَامَةِ الْبَاطِنِ so this group here, what do they do? He says that they give great consideration and great concern to the salama al batin to having the peace of those outer affairs. The salama of al batin those outer affairs. حَتَّى يَجْعَلُوا الْجَهْلَ بِمَا تَجِبُ مَعْرِفَتَهُ He says, so much so that they become ignorant with regards to those things that are obligatory upon the person to have knowledge of. Mina sharr from those affairs of evil. Aladhi yajibu itiqa'uhu min salamat al batini. Those things that is obligatory. It's obligatory that the person learns these affairs with regards to the outer, 
the salama of one's bottom. Tay. Tashihani akhwana correction. Fakala fa yabaluna fi salama al bottom. Laysa al zahir. Tay. A correction, ya akhwana al apa. Ibn Taymiyyah, he says, Rahimahullah, that they give great consideration and great concern to the affairs of the bottom, the affairs of the inward. And we said the affairs of the hour. So write that correction down, ya khwan. Salama al batin The salama, the peace of one's inner. bima tajibu ma'rifatahu min ash-shar. So much so that while they're only focusing on this, is and they go to the extreme in this, he says what happens now is that they become ignorant of those things. They're not focusing on knowledge. They're focusing on the inward only. So they become ignorant of those things that are obligatory for the person to know. Mina Sharu from the affairs of evil. Those things that to stay away from them are obligatory. Min salamat al batin from the peace and the safe keep of one's inward. Wala yufarriquna bina salamat al batini min Iradat al-Sharri al-Manhiyi anhu al-Manhiyu anhu, and they do not differentiate. They do not see a difference between the salam of one's inner, the peace and safe keep of one's inner, min Iradat al-Sharri al-Manhiyu an, and they do not separate between the salam of one's inner with regards to the evil. The evil that one desires to fall into or to commit, that which has been prohibited. وَبَيْنَ سَلَامَةِ الْقَلْبِ مِنْ مَعْرِفَةِ الشَّرِّ الْمَعْرِفَةِ الْمَأْمُورِ بِهَا And they do not differentiate between that affair and between the affair of the salama of one's heart. With regards to having knowledge of certain affairs of evil, those affairs that the individual is commanded, is commanded to learn, is commanded to have knowledge of. ثم مع هذا الجهل والغفلة قد لا يجتنبون النجاسات. So in addition to this, with regards to this ignorance and this heedlessness, the person does not stay away from those things that are impure. ويقيمون طهارة الواجبة للنصارى. And in this you find that they actually execute the obligatory obligation, that the obligatory purification that is in opposition of the Jews. He says, and you find that between the two groups, the first group and the second group, you find what has occurred between them now is enmity and hostility. Is enmity and hostility between them. Why is this? He says because they have left off a great portion of that which the karubih, that which they were reminded of. And the bagi, that which is with regards to transgressing the bounds. When the person falls into oppression and going beyond the limits. He says, and this is with regards to being negligent and leaving off carrying out the affairs of Al Haq, of the truth. He says, or because the person falls into enmity. And the person falls into transgressing beyond the bounds. And he falls into carrying out those actions that lead to oppression. So sometimes you find that this transgression, it comes from some of them upon others, from among them. And sometimes this transgression from amongst them, you find that it is with regards to fulfilling the rights of Allah. And both of them, they are 
similar to one another. They accompany one another. وَلِهَذَا قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى So for this reason Allah Ta'ala He says بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ That they fell into this out of بَغْيًا Out of hatred to one another. Surah Al-Baqarah فَإِنَّ كُلَّ طَائِفَةٍ بَغَتْ عَلَى الْآخَرِ وَعَلَى الْأُخْرَى Because both of the groups they have fallen into this بَغْي towards the other group. They had this hatred towards the other group. فَلَمْ تَعْرِفْ حَقَّهَا الَّذِي بِأَيْدِيهَا وَلَمْ تَكُفَ عَنِ الْعَدَوَانِ الْعُدَوَانِ عَلِيهَا And for this reason, they did not recognize the truth. They did not recognize its truth. The truth that was right between their hands. وَلَمْ تَكُفَ عَنِ الْعُدَوَانِ عَلِيهَا And they did not stop the transgression and the enmity and the hostility that took place between them. وَيَقُولُ تَعَالَى and Allah Ta'ala mentions فَائِدَةً يَا إِخْوَانَ ذِيمَةً وَهَذَا كَثِيرٌ جِدَّا فِي كُتُبِ شَيْخِ الْإِسْلَامِ بِنِي تَيْمِي رَحِمَهَ اللَّهِ A tremendous benefit, يَا إِخْوَان And this benefit Battery is under 10% full It comes in abundance with regards to the books of Ibn Taymiyyah وَغَيْرِ إِبْنِ تَيْمِينَ مِنْ أَئِمَّةِ السَّلَفِ من أئمة الحديث خاصة من أئمة الحديث and this benefit comes not only in the books of Ibn Taymiyyah but the books of the great Imams of the Salaf especially the Imams of Al-Hadith the Imams of Al-Hadith أن كتبهم ملآن أو ملآن بقال الله وقال رسول الله that their books you find that their books are filled with Allah said and the Messenger of Allah said وَهَذَا الْأَمْرِ قَدْ نَسْيَا عَنْ قَدْ نَسْيَهُ كَثِيرٌ مِنَ مُسْلِمِينَ الْيَوْمِ إِلَّا مِنْ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ In this affair Allah said and the Prophet said Allah said and the Prophet said is an affair that many of the Muslims of today that many of the Muslims of today ya ikhwan that many of the Muslims of today, when our brothers they say, that, oh, Assalamu alaikum, the video is freezing. Assalamu alaikum, can't get through to the video. Uh, we'll try again, inshallah ta'ala. Ta'ir. And this affair is that many of the Muslims of today, ikhwan, they have forgotten about Ahamiyati had al Amr. Ma qala Allah, wa ma qala Rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi. And this affair is what did Allah say? What does the Messenger of Allah say? وَمَا اجْتَمَعَ عَلَيْهِ أَصْحَابَ And what is the thing that the companions were unanimous upon? فالآن المسلمون اليوم أصبحوا أن يجادلوا على إخوانهم عن قال هذا الشيخ وعن هذا الإمام يقول كذا وأنت لا توافق معه وأنت لا توافق معي ولا نرجع إلى ماذا قال الله وماذا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم وعلى آله وسلم and because nowadays the Muslims of today إخوان we have fallen into this one arguing another Muslim with regards to the position that this Sheikh said or he's against this individual because he doesn't agree with that Sheikh he takes a position based upon Adilla that this other Sheikh doesn't take based upon some other proof or that's his opinion and that's his opinion and if you don't take his opinion فَأَنْتَ لَا أُكَلِّمُكَ وَنَعُدُ بِاللَّهِ so if you don't take my opinion my position then now what happens is what? now I boycott you and I don't speak to you. وكل هذا يا إخوان ليس من سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم. And all of this is not from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah عليه الصلاة والسلام. نرجع إلى كلام ابن تيمية. So now we return back to the speech of ابن تيمية. قال ابن تيمية رحمه الله. As ابن تيمية he says, May Allah have mercy upon him. 
قال وقال الله تعالى He says and Allah تعالى mentions وما تفرق الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة صورة البينة He says Allah تعالى says in صورة البينة وما تفرق الذين أوتوا الكتاب and the people who were given the book meaning the the Jews and the Christians they did not differ amongst themselves they did not divide amongst themselves إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة of al-bayyina except after that which is clear had come to them surah al-bayyina wa qala ta'ala kana al-nas ummatan wahida fa ba'atha Allah al-nabiyyin mubashirin wa mundhirin wa anzala ma'ahum al-kitab bil-haq liyahkuma bayna al-nas fiha o liyahkuma bayna al-nas fi ma akhtalafu fih wa ma akhtalafa fihi illa al-lazina utuhu min ba'di ma jatum al-bayyina بَغِيَمْ بَيْنَهُمْ سورة البقرة And Allah Ta'ala He mentions كَانَ النَّاسُ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا And the people they were one ummah they were one nation they were one body أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا they were one body a people فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْدِرِينَ Then Allah Ta'ala sent to them the prophets مُبَشِّرِينَ as warner, uh, as bringers of glad tidings, and as warners, warning those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. And Allah Ta'ala sent down with them, these prophets and messengers, the book, in truth. Allah in truth. In order for them to to judge between the people, to judge between the people with regards to those things that they differ therein. And they did not differ amongst themselves except those that the, have received the, the books, the scriptures, the revelation. After the bayanat, the clear guidance has come to them. And they did not differ amongst themselves until after the guidance came to them because because of the hatred that they had and the jealousy that they had for one another. Surah Al-Baqarah. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمِ وَالنُّبُوَّةِ Surah Al-Jathiyah. And as Allah Ta'ala, He says, And verily, we meaning Allah, we have given Bani Israel Al-Kitab, the book, the revelation, wal hukum and the judgment, wal nubuwa and prophethood. Surah Tujathiya. Wa qala ta'ala fi Musa ibn Imran, mithli thalik, or mithli thalik. And Allah Ta'ala said similarly to that with regards to Musa, the son of Imran. Wa qala ta'ala, and Allah also mentions, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْبَيَّنَاتِ Surah Ali Imran And Allah mentions And do not be like And do not be like those تَفَرَّقُوا Who divided Who divided themselves up وَاخْتَلَفُوا And they differ with one another مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْبَيَّنَاتِ After the guidance and after the clarification had come to, have come to them. Surah Ali Imran. فَمَا هُوَ الْمَرَادِ إِخْوَانِ بِالْتَفَرُّقُ تَفَرُّقُوا عَنْ مَاذَا So now what's the point here? What did they divide themselves from? What did they divide themselves from? المراد هنا يا إخوان أن لا يقع الاختلاف لا هذا ليس المراد The intent here is not that differences of opinions cannot take place. The intent here, Yaqwan, is not that I have to agree with you in everything. Or you have to agree with me in everything that I say. We have to be together in our speech. 
لا نتفرق وأن لا نتخ أن لا نختلف عن الكتاب وعن السنة وعن ما اتفق عليه أصحاب. The intent here is that we cannot divide ourselves, not from us, but we cannot divide ourselves and be different or differ against or away from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, and we cannot divide and we cannot oppose what the companions of the Messenger of Allah were unanimous on. وَأَمَّا هَذَا رَأْيِ وَهَذَا رَأْيُكَ وَرَأْيِ يَجُوزُ وَرَأْيُكَ يَجُوزُ فَبِهَا وَنِعْمَةً فَبِهَا وَنِعْمَةً But this is my opinion, and that's your opinion, and my opinion is allowed, and your opinion is allowed. Alhamdulillah. And there's no problem in this. وَلَكِنْ هَذَا رَأْيِ وَرَأْيِ وَنَعُوذِ بِاللَّهِ يُخَالِفُ الْكِتَابُ وَالسُنَّةِ فَهَذَا مُحَرَّمْ عَلَيَّ وَلَا يُجُوزُ لِي أَنْ أَخُذَ هَذَا أَوْ أَنْ أَمِيلَ إِلَى هَذَا الرَّأْيِ But I have an opinion, may Allah forbid, and my opinion contradicts the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger, when I the Billah, and we seek refuge with Allah Ta'ala from this. So me having this opinion is haram, and it's not allowed to have it. وَلَكِنْ هَذَا رَأْيِ وَرَأْيِ يُوَافِكُ الْكِتَابُ وَالسُنَّةِ وَهَذَا رَأْيُكَ ورأيك أيضا يوافق الكتاب والسنة ورأي ورأيك مختلفان فلا بأس عن هذا إذا نكون أهلا للإجتهاد. However, if I have an opinion and my opinion agrees with the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, and you have another opinion and your opinion also agrees with the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger عليه الصلاة والسلام, but my opinion and your opinion are different. I have an opinion that agrees with the book and the sunnah and you also have an opinion that agrees with the book and the sunnah. But my opinion opposes your opinion slightly. Now this is allowed if we are of the level of those who are qualified to have an opinion. And that's another opinion, ya ikhwan. بداية طلبه للعلم لا يمكن له أن يملك رأيا أبدا أبدا However the common folk or the layman the general common everyday Muslim who has not reached the level of looking at the proofs and the evidences or the one in the beginning pursuit of his seeking knowledge can never have an opinion can never have an opinion. كيف يملك رأيا وهو ما درس الأمر كاملا الأمر كاملا. How can the layman or the beginner student of knowledge have an opinion? How? When they have not studied the issue. When they have not studied the affair. كيف يقول هذا رأي? How can the layman or the beginner student of knowledge say هذا رأي? This is my opinion. وَرَأْيِ الرَّاجِحِ And my opinion is the strongest opinion. وَرَأْيُكَ الضَّعِيفِ وَهُوَ مَا دَرَسَ شَيْئًا عَنْ هَذَا الْأَمْرِ عَنْ هَذَا الْأَمْرِ Or he says, your opinion is weak. Or his opinion is weak. Or such and such's opinion is weak. كَيْفْ يَقُولُ هَذَا وَهُوَ مَا دَرَسَ الْأَمْرِ How can he possibly say the likes of this when she, when he has not studied the affair. في الإسلام أن يتكلم العبد المسلم عن أمر وهو جاهل عنه هذا حرام وقوله لا يقبل because in Islam the Muslim servant of Allah who has an opinion or speaks in Islam and he does not have knowledge of the affair. He is speaking from his ignorance. This is haram. And his statement is not accepted. فَلَا بُدَّ لَا بُدَّ يَا إِخْوَانِ أَن لَا نَتَكَلَّمْ عَنْ هَذَا الدِّينِ عَنْ هَذِهِ الشَّرِيعَةِ إِلَّا وَقَدْ نَتَعَلَّمُ مَاذَا يَقُولُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى عَنْهُ 
وماذا يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عنه وما اجتمع صحابته علي رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين عنه so what's upon us يا إخوان that we do not speak we do not move our mouths we do not talk we do not have an opinion on the likes we do not say this and say that with regards to the religion of Allah with regards to the legislation of Allah except after we have learned what does Allah say here until after we have learned what does the Messenger of Allah say here until after we have learned what is it that the companions of the Messenger Ali Salatu Salam were upon for indeed the common folk or the common everyday Muslim, the layman Muslim, or the one in the beginning pursuit of his seeking knowledge can never have an opinion. How can you have an opinion as we mentioned, my beloved brothers? So how can the one who does not, has not studied the issue, the one that is a general everyday Muslim, how can he have an opinion? When he has not looked at, he has not coupled and gathered together, what did Allah say in this issue? He has not looked at and he has not joined together. What did the Messenger of Allah say in this issue? He did not join together and he did not look at what did the Imams or do they differ? Have they differed? Why they differ? He did not look at what the companions of the Messenger of Allah were upon. نَرَجِعْ إِلَى كَلَامِ إِبْنِ تَيْمِيَّةِ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى So return back to the words of Ibn Taymiyyah رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى قَالَ وَقَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى He says, and Allah Ta'ala, He says, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْبَيْنَاتِ Surah Ta'ali Imran, as Allah says, and do not be like, and do not be like those who تَفَرَّقُوا who they divided themselves, وَاخْتَلَفُوا and they differed with one another after الْبَيْنَاتِ after the clear guidance and the clarification and the evidence had come to Surah Ta'ala Imran وَيَقُولُ تَعَالَى and Allah also mentions إِنَّ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ وَكَانُوا شِيَاعًا لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ Surah Al-An'am as Allah Ta'ala says Verily those who divided themselves up Verily those who divided themselves up with regards to their religion. وَكَانُوا شِيَعَ And they were groups. And they were groups. لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ You have nothing to do with them, O Muhammad. In anything. You have nothing to do with them whatsoever. Whatsoever. Surah Ali Mada Surah Al-An'am وَقَالَ تَعَالَى And Allah Ta'ala, He says, فَأَقِمْ وَجْهَكَ لِلَّذِينَ مَذَا فَأَقِمْ وَجْهَكَ لِلدِّينِ حَنِيفًا فِطْرَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي فَطْرَ النَّاسَ عَلِيْهَا لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِخَلْقِ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقِيِّمُ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ وَاتَّقُوهُ وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَلَا تَكُونَ مع وَلَا تَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ وَكَانُوا شِيَاعًا كُلُّ حِزْبٍ بِمَا لَدِيهِمْ فَرِحُونَ Surah Al-Rum As Allah Ta'ala He mentions فَأَقِمْ وَجْهَكَ لِلدِّينِ حَنِيفًا So establish your face O Muhammad لِلدِّين With regard to the religion Upon the religion, the methodology حَنِيفًا Upon At-Tawheed Upon At-Tawheed Worshiping Allah Ta'ala And Allah Ta'ala alone فَطْرَ مَاذَا فِطْرَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي فَطْرَ النَّاسَ عَلِيهَا The disposition, the natural disposition that Allah Ta'ala has مَاذَا فَطْرَ النَّاسَ عَلِيهَا Has 
created mankind in this state. La tabdila li khalqillah. There is no substitute whatsoever with regards to the creation of Allah. Dalika dinun qayyimu. This is the straight path. This is the straight religion. However, most of mankind la ya'lamun. Most of the people do not know. Munibina ilayhi. Repented to him. What taquhu and fear him, meaning Allah, and establish the salah, and do not be from the polytheists, from those farrakudinahum who have divided themselves with regards to their religion. Wakanushia, and there were different fractions and groups amongst themselves. Kulu hisbin bimaladihim farihun, and every group from these groups were happy. With regards to what they had, they were happy with regards to what they possess. So in this ayah, Ikhwan, many benefits we can derive. Many benefits we can derive. Al Amr al Amr Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and Yubad ala al Tawheed, ala. الفطرة السليمة التي فطر الله سبحانه وتعالى الناس عليها. Benefit number one is the commandment for the servant to worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى upon a tawheed, upon the natural disposition, the pure natural disposition that Allah تعالى has created mankind upon. وهذا في قوله تعالى فأقم وجهك للدين حنيفا. And this is where Allah Ta'ala says, and establish your faith on Muhammad, Liddin, with regards to the religion, the way of life, Hanifa, upon the Islamic monotheism, upon a Tawheed. Al Amru al Thani. Benefit number two. And al Fiturata al Salimata, who al Asru li al Khalq, who al Asru li al Khalq. أي الإنس والجن أي الإنس والجن. benefit number two is that the natural disposition, the natural disposition is the origin of the creation of Allah, meaning mankind and the jinn, meaning mankind and the jinn. فإذا العبد مثلا ولد ويكون وحده في الغابة أو في مكان خال عن الناس فهو مسلم فهو مسلم إذا يبقى على فطرته السليمة التي خلقه الله سبحانه وتعالى عليه فهو لا يزال مسلما وهو يبقى في الأصل يبقى في الأصل For example, if a person is created, he is born he is brought into society by his mother, his father. Ulida, he was born in Ikhwan. And he's in a, a cave or a vacant place that is far away from society, from civilization, mankind. And he's left in that state. And he remains upon his natural disposition. Then this one is still a Muslim. Or rather, he continues to be a Muslim as long as he's upon his natural disposition. This position which Allah Ta'ala has created him upon. وَلَا يَكُونُ عَلَى غَيْرِهَا إِلَّا إِذَا نَجِدُ فِيهِ التَّغْيِيرَ أو هو غير شيئا من هذه الفطرة ثم نكون أو ثم يمكننا أن نقول عنه إذا تغير هذه الفطرة السليمة. ولكن بدون هذا التغيير فهو يبقى على الأصل. However, if you find a change from his natural disposition, or he himself has changed or altered his natural disposition, then you can speak about that and you can say he is this and this. But without this change, you cannot say that he is upon anything else as long as he remains upon his natural disposition. His natural disposition. الفائدة الثالثة أهمية العلم. benefit number three is the virtues of knowledge. وهذا بقول الله تعالى ولكن أكثر الناس 
And this is where Allah Ta'ala says, however, most of mankind, they do not know. Most of mankind, they do not know. فَبَيَّنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى هَا هُنَا أَنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ جَاهِلُونَ جَاهِلُونَ So here Allah clarifies for us that most of mankind, they are ignorant. Most of mankind, they are ignorant. فَعَلَيْنَا عَلَيْنَا أَنَّ تَعَلَّمْ So it's upon us to learn. عَلَيْنَا أَنَّ نُسَافِرَ إِلَى أَهْلِ الْعِلَمْ It's upon us to travel to the people of knowledge. وَإِذَا لَا يُمْكِنُنَا ذَلِكْ إِنْ نَخُذَ عَنْ طَلَبَةِ الْعِلَمْ عَنْ طَلَبَةِ الْعِلَمْ And if we cannot make the destination, the trip to the people of knowledge, then we take, we have the people of knowledge. Uh, we have the students of knowledge. وَهُمُ الَّذِينَ قَدْ أَخَذُوا عَنْ أَهْلِ الْعِلَمْ And they are those who have taken knowledge from the people of knowledge. From the people of knowledge. قال ابن تيمير رحمه الله لأن المشركين كل منهم يعبد إلها يهواه. So Ibn Taymiyyah he goes on to say because the polytheists each one of them they worship their. So he says Ibn Taymiyyah he says for indeed each one of the polytheists or verily the polytheists each one of them they worship their deity their God يهواه. Out of their desires. كما قال في الآية الأولى As Allah Ta'ala He says In another verse كبر على المشركين ما تدعوهم إليه سورة الشورى He says For indeed كبر على المشركين It has become great and weighty upon the polytheists ما تدعوهم إليه That which you call them to that which you invite them to. وقال تعالى يا أيها الرسل كلوا من الطيبات وعملوا الصالحة إني بما تعملون عليم وإن هذه أمتكم أمة واحدة وأنا ربكم فاتقون إلى آخر هذه الآية سورة المؤمنون. And Allah Taala He says, O you messengers, كلوا من الطيبات. Eat from those things that are pure and wholesome. الصَّالِحَةَ And perform actions of righteousness. إِنِّي بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ عَلِيمٌ For verily, I, meaning Allah Ta'ala, I, with regards to what you do, am all aware, all knower. وَإِنَّ هَذِهِ أُمَّتُكُمْ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا And verily, this nation of yours is one nation. Is one nation. وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ فَاتَّقُونَ And I, meaning Allah, am your Lord, so therefore fear me. So therefore, fear me. قال ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى فظهر أن سبب الاجتماع والألفة جمع الدين He says so it becomes apparent and perhaps we'll stop here. He said it becomes apparent that the cause and the reason of being together and having love for one another جمع الدين is being collective Upon the religion, kullihi, and to work by it, all of it, meaning the religion, Allah, and it is the worship of Allah, Wahdahu Subhana, worshiping Him and Him alone, La Sharika La, who has no partners, Kama Amara Bih, Batinan, Wadahiran, just as Allah Taala commands in this regard, Batinan, one's inward. وظاهلاً and one's outer ونكتفي بهذا وستاب في إن شاء الله تعالى يا إخوان سبحانك رحم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وجزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته